everybody welcome back to my channel my name is elena also known as fashion lane and i am back i'm finally back with another video it's been a while but today is a special one we because we are almost near fall and it's time to get into it it's time to show you exactly what i got that's thrifty thrifted so let's get into it okay first of all before we get into the good stuff that i got let me rewind it back and show you take you on a little journey a little trip and all the stuff that i bought and stuff like that but yes rewind that hey everybody so i'm at my first stop so i'm going to the salvation army today i need to find some fall stuff it's getting a little brisk in michigan so we are at the salvation army today so let's get it popping or whatever so we got a whole big haul to uncover to unpack and show y'all what I got okay so like I said I went to the Salvation Army and I did pick up a couple of things okay the Salvation Army the one that I really love the most is the one that's called Sally's on Fort or in Fort or something like that but it's in downtown Detroit and it is one of my favorite Salvation Armies to shop because it's more of a boutique and a lot of their items are lightly worn most of the items are brand new but a fraction of the price and I love that I love that love that so let's talk about jackets okay so the jackets that I bought or found at the Salvation Army is first this houndstooth jacket y'all already if y'all know me enough to know I like a lot of classic stuff I like a lot of stuff that I can take and wear from time you know wear my pieces more often instead of just thrifting things that are trendy and stuff like that I kind of like to like really have items that I can hold on to and this house tooth jacket is doing that for me okay I haven't worn it yet it still has a tag on it and I do need to dry clean this item but it's amazing so this jacket is like a long wool like material it's homes too it's twelve dollars and the size of this jacket is a medium now i don't plan on closing this jacket i like the fact that i can keep it open well i have to keep it open because it don't fit that well but that's besides the point i like because i can keep it open 
and it could kind of give that whole classic feel type vibe that I'm trying to go for for the fall, okay? So this jacket, like I said, is a medium, it's a size 12, it's long, it's durable, and it's my hair, okay? Let's see if I can tell you exactly what the material is of this. So it doesn't really say what the material of this, but I'm assuming that this probably has a polyester lining and this material might be like some type of wool. But it's beautiful, okay? You see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Like that print is gorgeous now. So the second item that I got was this cute freaking, I don't even know what you call this thing. Okay, it's like a cardigan, a wrap cardigan, or whatever the type thing, but it's long. And I'm definitely gonna wear this at work because my job be tripping sometimes and it be super cold. And sometimes I don't be want to wear a jacket, but this is perfect for it. So it's kind of like a wrap like cardigan and it is a camo color. And child, when I saw the brand, I almost passed out. Look at that. Yes. Oh Lord. Michael Kors. I know the girlies ain't really think about Michael Kors, but y'all know Michael Kors used to be expensive, okay? And I got this for $16. 16 freaking dollars, and it's beautiful, okay? It's a nice little wrap, like, type set. Wrap it around. It comes with its own little, um, what you call these little things? I don't know what this is called. <laughs> But the little wrap thing, you know, you put it on and you wrap it and then you tie it, the little tie across thing, that's what it's giving. It also has pockets on the side. Um, the size of this is a large and it's just giving, okay? It's giving what I need to give. So the material is 65% Ryan and 28% nylon and 7% alpaca. I like this, okay? I like this for the, the fall because it's getting cold and I'm anemic so I'm always cold. So this is perfect for those days when it's super chilly outside but it plans on getting a little bit hotter during the day so it's a good transition piece. That's what I'm trying to say. So Salvation Army, was showing up and showing out for me, okay? Okay. Now this this item was super, super, super cute. It's another jacket that I got. And child, when I saw this jacket, I almost had a meltdown. And I had a meltdown because it's hard to find certain stuff in a certain size for me at the Salvation Army because I'm a big girl and I won't say that I'm super big or whatever the case might be. And if you are, who gives a crap? But what I'm saying is there is not a lot of clothes to shop that are curvy friendly. And when you're looking for vintage pieces, sometimes it's not always cur curvy friendly. So that's why I say all of that. But this is what I found. I found this cream suede like moto jacket cream suede like moto jacket okay it's not suede for real but it's give it's it's the material feels like suede okay this is one of i think a classic piece when it comes down to the fall this is when you know you in fall when you pull out that moto jacket okay these jackets you it you could do a lot of things with it okay you can wear it with a dress i know back in the 2000s well, maybe like the late 2000s, people were wearing like floral dresses underneath with a moto jacket or something like that with booties or whatever the case might be. But you can do a lot of things. You can wear this with leggings. You can probably get away with wearing this with a, um, so you can probably get away with wearing this with uh, uh, some jeans, a nice, God, I'm having the brain fart. But you can get away with wearing this with a tank top underneath. It's a good layering piece, okay? And I found me one. So, um, the brand is by Lauren Conrad Runway. I remember Lauren Conrad. I remember, let's get back to the point. So this is a Lauren Con Conrad one -way Runway brand. It's a size 12. I paid $16 for this, okay? And it is featuring rose gold zipper, um, rose gold um, fixtures on this particular jacket, okay? And it's beautiful. It is so beautiful on, and I cannot wait to style this. I already got a couple of ideas in my head. For me, like I said before, I'm gonna keep it classy but cute, and this is the jacket that I found. $16, you can't beat that, okay? And it, it doesn't even look like anybody worn it. Like, the zipper still looks great. All the zippers are functional. The pockets are functional. Everything on this jacket is functional. And I got it from the Salvation Army for $16. What a freaking steal. Okay? Okay. 
let's keep this ball rolling okay so the last piece that I found at the Salvation Army was a cute piece and it was like um I don't quite know what I want to do with it just yet but I know that sheer is in for the fall so I found this sheer bodysuit the beautiful it's a sheer like bodysuit and the brand of this is called um CQ by CQ I don't know who CQ is but y'all out did out did this top it's a cute body um a bodysuit and I like the fact that it's sheer because I do plan on wearing something underneath this but you know it's giving a little wrist cap a little flirt okay you know I like I like a good flirt you know I like to flirt it up but yes it's a super cute super flirt flirty and I love this kind of round like detailing pattern on this um bodysuit so this is a size I believe extra large so yes it's a size extra large and I got it for eight bucks the quality of this piece is beautiful okay it is super I just can't get over the detailing of this so that's what really had me shook when I first saw this so this is 95% nylon and 5% spandex. So I do plan on wearing this with a mini skirt. I don't know where I'm gonna find a mini skirt to fill over this, you know, this thing that I'm, I'm dragging, okay? <laughs> I don't know, but I do wanna wear this with a mini skirt. Probably pair, you know, probably throw a blazer on top of it, you know? But you could do a lot with this and I'm excited to wear this for the fall. Like, And I think you could probably get away with wearing this with some cute jeans, okay? Like, this is what, these are some of the things that I bought from the Salvation Army. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite piece? Are you loving the jackets? Did you like the bodysuit or did you like the wrap? I know that I, my favorite piece out of this whole collection that I bought from Salvation Army has to be, hands down, that suede-like jacket. That was my freaking favorite, and I can't wait to style it. But like I said, let me know in the comments what you think about this. And hold up, wait a minute. If you have made it this far through this haul, then you need to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Because if you're loving me, we... we <laughs> help other people find me okay that's the only way if you like comment and subscribe that's how the folks gonna find us okay have us join the tribe the fashion lane tribe okay this is the affordable side of tiktok let's go child i said the affordable side of tiktok full side of youtube let's let's keep it a buck okay okay so you already know if anything you already seen in the clips before that i went to my favorite place value and i went to my favorite one that is near and dear to me the one that's in southville that's my favorite spot and they always every time i come in there I always find something okay so let me tell you exactly what i got from value world in southville okay so first of all let's start off light okay let's let's start off light so I found this cute little Harvard hat, this Harvard dad hat. And first of all, dad hats are really a classic thing to wear when it comes down to the fall, okay? You see all the girlies, you see it on Pinterest and stuff like that. We love a good hat. Now I know I haven't went to Harvard, but I'm a sport a, sport a Harvard jacket, a hat. I'm talking about a jacket. I'm a sport a Harvard because your girl is smart, okay? She is smart. It is super cute, so I got it for $3.10. It is an adjustable strap, so it's like one of those, you know, pull on, snap and go type hats, so it's easy to adjust. I plan on wearing that Harvard j hat, probably with, um, when it gets really cold, like I love to pair with a nice long wool coat, an oversized coat probably put underneath a um a hoodie i like to layer in the fall because i do get whole cold and sometimes hot so that's going to be super cute with some je jeans and probably a cute little jimmy gym shoe i love it let's keep this ball rolling okay so those are the hats let's talk about jackets now y'all already know i didn't i just talk about jackets before of course i did i love jackets for the fall jackets are my favorite pieces like it's just easy for me to style i don't like to think too hard a jacket just pulls my outfit right together so let's talk about the jackets okay so first of all we're gonna go light okay i found this blazer called liz sport so have y'all heard about liz claiborne 
Don't try to make me feel like I'm old. I know you are, but Liz Sport, Liz Claiborne was popping back in the day. My mom used to wear Liz Claiborne, okay? So, anywho, I found this Liz Claiborne, Liz Sport, to be honest, to be correct, jacket. Found it for $7.40 at Value World. It has multiple pockets, so it has um a pocket on the side, and they're super wide, so you can put a lot of things in there. Definitely get away with hiding your phone if you're not supposed to have your phone with you, but you can throw it right on the side. So it has two functional pockets at the bottom of the, of the blazer, and then it also has a pocket here in the front of the blazer. The bunk buttons on here are super functional. Now me, I might try something different with this jacket. I'm thinking about actually really pulling off these buttons, of course saving them, but put maybe a better looking button on here so these are the buttons on here you probably can't see them very well but I want to put probably like a nice rich gold button just to liven up the jacket just to make it appear more refined a little bit more richer and things like that I'm gonna have my mom show me how to sew on buttons on this jacket but that's what I got it's super cute like I said it was seven dollars and forty cent it is oversized it is a woman's jacket so it's a size 10 and it's 100% wool. I'm gonna be itching, you know, wool. <laughs> wool makes me itch, but I couldn't, I couldn't put it down. I love, I just like blades. Plan on wearing it probably with a mini skirt with some um, thigh high boots. So at least a little pro a portion of my thigh could show. And it might go cute with that, um, that bodysuit too underneath it just to like, you know, why not? You know, give it a little finesse. So that's one of the pieces that I got. Forgive me. So I found, I like teddy coats, okay? The teddy-like material, the, sh the Sherpa-like, the sh Sherpa-like. I like teddy coats. Now they probably not popular or trending like that this, this fall, but for me, I like these jackets because they're light, just enough lightness to it, but enough warmth. So I won't overheat or be cold. That's the whole purpose of me buying these type of jackets. So, yes, I bought a teddy coat. Teddy! Yes, it is the brand Forever 21. So, you know, I try not to really buy like fast fashion at the thrift store, but I'm like, somebody did donate. At least you didn't like throw it away or, you know, do something negative with it, but I bought this, it's Forever 21, it's a size large, and you can't go wrong with black, okay? I like the fact that this is super oversized. I love the fact that the pockets in the front of this jacket is super functional, so you can actually put things in there. You don't have to feel like you gotta carry everything with you or have a bag, you can put your items inside the pocket. Um, the lining in this is pretty durable. I would say it's pretty thick, so you can get away with a good, let's say, for orchard or the cider meal, and it's a cool night. This is perfect to wear. So I'm definitely pulling this out. Like, typically, I mean, my sorority sisters, we have like a, we go to the cider meal, and I, I can't wait to, for somebody to text the sister about the cider meal. But that's typically what we do, and this will be perfect for that. I love the buttons on this jacket. It's a size large, and I got it for eight dollars and forty cent at Value World. So I just love it. Value World is my bag, is my gag, and things like that. So you come across some really, really cute items there, and this one <sighs> takes the cake. Okay, now if you know me enough, you know I love me a good two-piece set. A good two-piece set? A two-piece set because it is so minimal and easy to style. Like, you don't have to think too hard because your outfit is already put together, okay? And when I saw this, baby girl almost had a stroke, okay? Not trying to be insensitive, but I found this cardigan tank set, and it is stunning! So, yes. I found this super cardigan. So the cardigan is probably like a crop-like cardigan. So as you can see, it's given hounds tooth. It's taupe and cream, hounds tooth like um, material, or not material, but pattern. And so it's 100% nylon. And like I said, it is a two-piece set. So it is a small mini tank underneath a crop tank with a crop sweater. And I, 
love this. this when I saw this I jumped okay when I tell you how fast I jumped I jumped so fast I didn't even check the, the size or nothing like that so I just jumped it put it in the basket so this two piece set cost me $11.60 um, like I said it's super cute and I already know how I plan on wearing this I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit close colder outside because I want to wear this either with a pair of jeans or a mini skirt do you just look how can you not it's stunning in this tank I can't wait to style it so when you see when you see these items make sure you follow me on TikTok or Instagram because that's a lot of times where I show you how exactly I style each piece so and this is definitely going to be one of those things of how I style three different ways because we going to make we gonna make this into a thing, okay? So make sure you follow me on TikTok. Um, and the links are in my bio, so you can definitely easily grab to that. So let's keep the ball rolling, okay? We, we got more stuff, okay? Don't quit on me now. So the last piece that I found at Value World was this super cute cardigan. It's given Chanel. I like Chanel. I like the bag. <laughs> so it's definitely given like Chanel-like type definitely Chanel like inspired so it's given like what's the movie I don't even know but it's given like Michelle Obama something she'll put on but you know jazz it up a little bit and this is super cute it's super sturdy now the only thing I didn't like about this cardigan is that the pocket the pocket piece is not functional it's just for show okay but I like this and I already know exactly how I'm wearing it because I have a tennis skirt that's this color where my um Parisian hat at, okay? I'm about to embrace my per Parisian girl, okay? So, like I said, I got this super cute Chanel-inspired, like, cardigan. The buttons are super cute on here. Um, Like, how do you even describe these? These buttons are just beautiful, gorgeous on here. Um, The brand on this is called Urban Reviva. Has anybody heard of this brand before? This is my first time ever hearing about this brand. It still has the, the somewhat ticket attached to it. Like, this might have been an Amazon sign, but who knows? But I got it, and I like it, okay? Like I said, I do plan on wearing this with a, um, with a tennis skirt. Tennis skirt, maybe style it up and add some gym shoes with it, but I'm definitely am going to make a, this a, a Chanel statement. So just stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for that because this is going to be a look. Um, I don't know if I told you the price of this, but like I said, this is a size. It is a UK 10 or US 6, so it's small, and it cost me $14.60 at Value World. So not bad, not bad at all. I love the colors. These are right up, this is right up my alley when it comes down to my color scheme. And I'm definitely gonna wear this at work. Probably not with a mini skirt, but probably with some black is given black pants or whatever so this is definitely going to be a moment oh that is what i got from value world i got a few more things just hold on let me know in the comments what was your favorite piece that i found at value world this time around let me know you can be honest okay? know what you're loving the most out of this small haul that i bought from value world okay let's keep the ball rolling so let's keep it a whole book okay your girl also loves vintage shopping too now i don't make it a big priority to vintage shop but when i do i find some cool stuff okay so let me share you pieces that i found recently at this vintage spot that i hit up with my girl jordan make sure you follow her on youtube little miss jb style little miss jb style on YouTube as well so make sure you follow her there as well but let's talk about vintage stuff okay so my first thing was is that I have still have a tomboyness going on within my system and I like every once in a while to be a little tomboyish as well as put in my feminine touch to it you see that feminine touch okay so the first thing I bought I found it jumped at was this Michigan vintage oversized sweatshirt okay not over here fighting about 
I like State more or Miss U of M. It ain't even like that because I went to neither school, but talking. We just talking. So yes, I got this <laughs> vintage Michigan oversized shirt or sweater. Um, and I just love the color. That's really what drew me in was the color that it was like this tan. This is definitely up in my color scheme. I'm a brown type taupe type camel color type girl. I love browns, and this is what I got. Okay. Now for me. I styled this with a tennis skirt, had a bomb hat with it, with some New Balance um, sneakers with it, and I, it was a look, okay? Let me show you the picture. Yes, so that was the look, and I was giving it, okay? So that was what I found. This ran me 25 bucks, okay? And that's how much I paid for this, and I just love it, okay? Oh my god, so you made it to the end of the video and you are awesome for that, okay? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to see from me. What more do you want to see from me? I know I've been missing the action, but I am trying to my hardest to break past my own insecurities and actually stay consistent when it comes down to YouTube. So make sure you let me know what you liked about this video. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe because that helps push my content out to more folks, okay? And that just makes me feel better. It lets me know that I'm doing something good, okay? Also, make sure you follow me at fashionlane.com. That's another place where I share all of my thrifted tips. I also provide content when it comes down to what is really trending for the fall what you can thrift so make sure you follow me there also you I have a resale shop called vintage lane visit there I a lot of pieces that don't fit me or don't really wear wear for me I put it on there for you guys to shop so make sure you check that out there and like I mentioned before if you're not following me on TikTok or Instagram child you're missing out Make sure you follow me at Fashion Lane on TikTok as well as on Instagram, okay? Join the fam, okay? So yes, you made it to the end of this video, and I am so thankful. Make sure y'all have a great day, and we are lit. Lit, 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 lit. Okay.